What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're going to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. Overall, things have been extremely bullish for the crypto market as we're moving into the Bitcoin halving. The Bitcoin halving is only about seven days away. A lot of the viewers out there that watch crypto YouTubers, you've probably heard them talk about the upcoming halving for almost two years now. So a lot of you guys have almost been desensitized to the halving, but we need to make sure that we don't forget the importance of the halving event. Bitcoin miners receive block rewards for validating the Bitcoin blockchain. And that means that Bitcoin has inflation, but the level of inflation is always decreasing during every halving. And the way that Satoshi designed Bitcoin makes Bitcoin more scarce over time. This whole process provides incentive for people to buy Bitcoin. And also right now it's giving miners in incentive to reduce selling pressure on the market. And that's why we're not seeing all too much selling on the market right now. The price of Bitcoin is seeing really nice gains. Be sure to sign up with the crypto watch platform. You don't have to sign into all these exchanges when you want to trade. You can just do it all right off this platform. And before we get into the analysis, hit that like button. Let's get as many likes as we can. I'm looking at the crypto watch homepage and we can see that Bitcoin is currently neutral. We're down 0.1% but pretty much neutral. All the top cryptos are coming back up to that neutral point. We saw that major run up to 9,500, a little bit of a pullback, and now prices are stabilizing. I'm looking at Bitcoin on the daily chart, and we can see that right after we hit 6430, which was that historic support from the 2019 low, after we hit this area, Bitcoin actually began a really nice parabolic trajectory. Bitcoin has been on a small short-term parabolic run. Now, taking a look at the three-day chart, the reason that we found resistance at 9,500 was because 91 to 9,500 is a historic support range from the decent and triangle in 2019. We found historic support along 91 to 9,500. We also found resistance in this exact area in 2019, after the China pump off of 7,200, we found resistance here and dumped. Before the global pandemic hit, we were able to get above this range for a short period of time, but quickly moved back below as the global pandemic got worse. And now we've seen a little bit of rejection here, which makes sense. This is a historic range, and this is exactly where we were looking for resistance if you were watching my live streams during the pump. So there's a few interesting things that I've noticed on the Bitcoin chart. If we drop down to the four hour chart for Bitcoin and we just analyze the 21 EMA on the four hour chart, this blue line, this blue moving average, the 21 EMA on the four hour chart has been an extremely good indicator. And I'll explain why. After our initial drop to 38.58, and we found that higher low in the mid 4,000 range, the 21 EMA on the four hour chart acted as a resistance point. And once we started to break above it, things got very bullish. Now, once we dropped below it, it acted as an extremely good buy indicator. Once we were below the 21 EMA on the four hour chart, that was a perfect zone to be buying Bitcoin. And once we broke below it again, it was another great buying opportunity. And then we broke back above it. Again, the next time we dropped below it, a perfect buy zone for Bitcoin. We found support along it all the way up until our drop down to retest 6430, which was that 2019 historic low. And this entire range turned out to be a great buy zone for Bitcoin. And then we used it as support in this area. And once again, once we dropped back below it, another fantastic buy signal. Since we had our breakout above 7,500, we've remained above the 21 EMA on the four hour chart until recently where we had another dip below it. And this also acted as a great entry point so far. Not only is this an important thing to keep in mind for all you short-term traders out there, but also all you long-term traders out there that are looking to accumulate, everything below the 21 EMA on the four hour chart so far has been a fantastic accumulation zone for buying dips. So if we do start to sell off below this trajectory, then I think it's possible that we could be looking to test as low as 8,000 before finding the needed support to continue this uptrend. And at that point, we would be, you know, once again, below the 20, uh, the 21 email on the four hour chart. That would be that next buy zone and then potentially looking to cross back above it before the next move to the upside going into the halving. I'm just discussing how I would um, take advantage of any downswings at this point. So I keep that all that in mind as well. But as long as we're holding above this upward sloping trajectory, it seems to me that we actually have a good chance of breaking out above 9,500. You'll notice that on the four hour chart, we, we do find profit takers. You see the volume signature here does show profit takers stepping into the market, looking to secure profits, but we're not seeing that many people exiting the market. We're not seeing whales dumping huge positions. It's generally just profit takers. And this is a very good sign going into the having. This is a great sign that we are seeing not all that much selling. And also if you're looking at um, the daily chart for Bitcoin, 
Again, same thing, you know, we do have profit takers after this giant run up. It's generally a healthy amount of selling. And this means that we could be seeing continued moves to the upside. Also, some important things to discuss on the higher time frames, looking at the weekly chart for Bitcoin. Again, we discussed this so many times, you know, after we dumped and we saw this giant weekly red candle with this huge sell volume. During that weekly candle, as we were sitting in the mid 5000s on this channel, we discussed this record breaking volume here was a clear indication that Bitcoin was very likely finding its major market low and that we would see a reversal. And that reversal indication has now played out. So that macro volume signal played out. Also, we have a break above the 21 week EMA, which is another historic moving average indication. And also guys, the parabolic stop and reverse indicator on the weekly chart has been very reliable for Bitcoin over the past year or more. As the parabolic stop and reverse indicator is trending bearish, Bitcoin is generally trending bearish. And once we get that flip, to the bullish side. As the parabolic stop and reverse indicator is trending bullish, Bitcoin is also trending bullish. Once we get that flip to the bearish side and the parabolic stop and reverse indicator is trending bearish, Bitcoin is also trending bearish and it just continues on and on and it acts as a very reliable indicator for trends. And we just got that bullish flip on the parabolic stop and reverse indicator on the weekly chart. So we're on the second week now of a bullish flip on the parabolic stop and reverse indicator, which means that Bitcoin could very well be trending bullish going into the halving. Now, this is not a guaranteed signal or guaranteed indicator to work out. But as of right now, looking at the daily chart, there's not that much selling, right? So there's nothing stopping Bitcoin from seeing a continued uptrend. As you guys know, I'm very bullish on the crypto market right now, but I also explained what I would do for a sell-off. I would be looking to target around 8,000 if we did get a sell-off, looking to accumulate more for the next move up most likely. But congratulations to everybody that took advantage of those low prices and accumulated some crypto. Uh, guys, we're seeing incredible gains right now, seeing a solid uptrend here. And overall, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin and I'm very bullish on the cryptocurrency market as a whole. And lastly, the stock market right now has not seen any sort of significant sell-off yet. We're actually still maintaining these price levels, which means that Bitcoin can continue being very bullish. But that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna support this channel, join Patreon. You get extra content there on some of the days that I'm not posting on YouTube. Also, you can take a look at one of my altcoin portfolios and see all the altcoins that I'm accumulating. And I will see you all in the next video.